Hello everyone. Right, this is just a quick video, just a quick update video to show people how the uh, CCMR 30 rebuild is coming along. I think my last video went up about three weeks ago, but since then I've been in hospital and had uh, surgery on my leg, and I've read the Lorenzo style cast there. So I haven't been able to do as much as I would have liked to have been able to do, <coughs> because I've been like drugged up on painkillers and not been able to move move about too much. But anyway, I'll just show you what's uh, what I've done since the last video. Uh, excuse the string on there. This I just put that on the rear shock to get it up out of the way while I dropped the swing arm out, which is down there. I did that about an hour ago or so. Uh, today's really the first day when I've been able to get up and actually do something. So it's been killing me. I've been sitting there for like two weeks with this cast on my leg now, two and a half weeks. Uh, so yeah, it was good to. Uh, just get my hands dirty again to be honest. So yeah, drop the swing arm out today, which took fucking ages because I can't move that quick. Anyway, since um, also since last time what I've done is I said I was gonna spray the engine casings. That's how it's come out. That was done before I went in hospital. Which I think was proper tidy. I really like that. Proper smart. Done it obviously black, did that bit white and that bit white just took just to put a bit of uh, my own touch to it, really. Um, also, I have... <coughs> I was looking to get some white fuel lines, fuel lines for this, but trying to find white fuel lines for this bike that size is just a nightmare. Um, so what I've done in the end was bought some white heat shrink tube, just took them off, put new heat, uh, just wrapped them in heat shrink. So that's how they look now, which I think looks quite nice as well. Just want to put little bits of white here and there on it really just to just, uh, give it my own little touch uh, i'm going to strip the shock is coming off tomorrow i'm going to start stripping that down um, i'm going to service that and get that sh the actual spring powder coated as well i haven't got round to doing the other engine casing yet now while well, you can see that with the wires are in the way <coughs> I haven't got around to doing that engine casing just yet. I will do that though, that's my next thing on the list to do after the rear shock. Um, what else have I done? <coughs> oh, it's only a small thing, but just got some uh, decals for the front fork legs there. The Dunlop decals, just to give it that sort of racy look, because it is now a track bike. Uh, what else have I done to it? <coughs> yeah, I think that's actually it. I think that's all I've actually done. Don't look a lot, but spraying that took fucking ages. It took absolutely ages to spray that. Rubbing it all down, um, priming it, then masking out for the white, then masking out for the black. Just, yeah, nightmare. But definitely worth the result. I think it looks proper. Well pleased with that. Um, I want to get some bits for this bike. Uh, i.e. like a new gear shifter but a nice like a motocross type one but these bikes are an absolute nightmare to buy parts for you just there's just no aftermarket parts for them they're just a nightmare i love it i love this bike i really do but just getting bits for it not genuine parts genuine parts like brake levers and clutch levers and all that it's easy but like if i wanted to get you know a, a nice asv sort of clutch lever or brake lever it's just so hard to find the one for the actual bike it, there's no listings for them but, but uh, that's uh, CCM I suppose but I'll just show you what I've uh, taken off the bike as well so far this is stuff I've taken off that ain't going back on This is, none of this is going back on the bike that's that over it that's the front fairing that was on it it's not the original one that comes on the CCM but I hated that one that was on it when I first got the bike so that, that got put on probably two weeks after I bought the bike, something like that. So obviously that's come off with the bulbs, hooter, the horn there, horn assembly, that's come off. Catch this gold off, don't need that obviously. Number plate, they are the rear uh, pillion foot peg brackets. Again, I took them off as soon as I got the bike, the actual foot pegs, but left brackets on. Uh, the, whole, the whole stand, fucking hell, knocking the camera back. The whole stand there, the whole stand assembly, the stand itself, 
the bracket, the mounts that were on the frame, cut them off in the spring, uh, the controls, lights, hooper, all that lock. That was the rear, um, what would you call it, number plate hanger. I made up myself, if you like. Uh, that light, that uh, speedo cable, parts of the speedo drive, heat shield. There was two of them, obviously there is two of them to this bike, but one of them fell off somewhere down the A1 because uh, everything seems to vibrate. That was the thing what the um, speedo cable went through like that, which was on the top, uh, on the bottom yoke, sorry. Another little bit there, which just goes to space this out a bit further from the actual uh, forks. <clears throat> All the nuts and bolts have gone, because don't need any of them. S strap off the seat, that's come off. Rev counter, that's the speedo cable that I've taken, uh, sorry, the speedo that I've taken off of the bike. Uh, that is the speedo from an accident I had about two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, pretty fucked. Which kind of wiped the whole front end of the bike off, so I had to rebuild the whole lot. So, I don't know why I kept it really, just like it. <laughs> uh, that is the um, the bracket that held that onto the thing that I put on. <clears throat> on there. I took that off ages ago as well to speak, the red counter. And that held that onto the, uh, you know, near the top yoke, know, the thing there. Also, what I've done, this is stuff that I've done, but I haven't yet uh, put back on the bike. That is a chain, the front sprocket cover. There. They're normally silver, but I've re-sprayed it white. Again, just to give it some a little touch, which is obviously going to go in there, like that. I really like that again, I think that looks pop up. I've also, uh, my plan was to get rid of the, uh, the air box and just have the, the k and air filter on there, but I've been speaking to some of the guys and I've read some things on the uh, CCM Mad Forum, uh, and people just say it's just not worth it, it's, it's difficult setting them up and God knows what else, so I'm just doing away with that idea, and just to tidy up the air box, I'm not a fan of carbon uh, sheet, I don't really like it, but it was the only way really to get that looking back nice again. So I've just carbon that bit there, that bit there. And also get that bit there where the battery's gonna go on. Don't look too bad, looks all right. And also the uh, the cover for the starter motor solenoid and all that sort of didgeridoo goes underneath that. And the subframe there as well, that's been completely rubbed down, primed and sprayed. It's all done there just needs to be put back on the bike. But I'm not going to put that back on until I've got the um, <coughs> swing arm powder coated, which is obviously why I've dropped the swing arm out, because it gives me, without the subframe on there, it gives me more room to work to get the swing arm in and out. Um, I think that's about it. I will do more videos as more gets done. But at the minute, my main sort of objective is to get my leg out of this fucking cast it's doing my head already and now I'm in a class look at the way my beautiful and I want to get out on the bike and it's killing me but I'll get there eventually I'll get there once I get out of faster and the best physio in my eyes is riding the bike which I'll be doing so um yes I will uh, like I say I'll do more videos as and when it comes along but hopefully in the next video it should 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 touch wood almost be there almost be finished uh, I've got the uh, frame to spray as well yet but obviously I can't do that at the minute because I can't get the bike outside but yeah I will keep you posted when it comes along guys all right I'll catch you later cheers